paid a lot of construction workers, right? Well, that's going to go straight into profits for Walmart. It's going to go straight into profits for the consumption goods sector. Because when they go to the store and buy stuff, this will be the income that the consumption goods sector earns above and beyond what they paid out. This is their source of profit. So that's one reason why uh, investment spending is profit. Because if you look at, the, at this equation right here, uh, when investment goes up, that means these two things are going up. When investment goes up, WINI is going up. Well, heck, that's the same thing as profits in the consumption goods sector. And profits in the investment goods sector are going up. Guess what? When, when we uh, build a new performance hall, that's going to create profits for the construction company that builds it and for all the companies that are selling the goods uh, and, and the equipment uh, that are going to go into the performance hall. So that's already profit. And that's going to become profit in the consumption goods sector. Therefore, the higher investment is, the higher profits are. All right? uh, and that is why, at the top of the business cycle, when investment starts to fall, that's why profits fall. Because investment spending is profit. Now, in the real world, it is not a one-to-one -one relationship because we have got um, Other things that are also taking away from the profit and things that are adding to it. For example, basically all of the injections are going to add to profits uh, when, from you know, exam one. But generally speaking, it's not a bad rule of thumb. So, let's see. Let, now let me write the whole answer out for you. Man, I love this stuff. Like on day one of our class, I was thinking, oh, I can't wait to get to Koleski. Because there's so many things that I think to myself, wow, it, 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 you kind of have that moment where you're like, I never thought of it that way, and that makes so much sense. And I'm going to have to sit and mull that over uh, to try to figure out all the implications of it. When, boy, do we have a lot of time to mull things over right now. Okay, so here's 93. I'm going to write the answer on this board right here. Uh, show how, starting with PCQC equals WCNC plus WINI, in the basic two-sector model, consumers spend what they get and investors get what they spend. Now again, let, let, let me mention this again, that when investment spending goes up, profits go up, but not for the firm necessarily that made the investment. This is a, 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 a net, uh, a, a sort of uh, aggregate effect, uh, that if you as an investor say, well, heck, I'm going to build 50 restaurants that sell roadkill, uh, well, then you're going to go broke. But you created profits for other people, all right? By the process of investment, you created profits for other people. Here, here's one of these things. I don't know what that is, but they are everywhere. All right, so I'm going to throw this one out the door, and it's going to fly right back in. Now, um, here are the equations. So you start with what the question already gives you. PCQC equals WCNC plus WI. And I. And then you have to make a note after this equation. You have to say, how far over is the screen going? Uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll adjust the screen in just a second. Well, no, well, let me do it now. A little higher, and okay, that'll be good. Consumers get what they spend. All right. So again, the question asks you to show two things. That consumers, uh, I'm sorry, I just screwed the whole thing up, uh, spend what they get. Consumers spend, hey, all I got to do is re replace these two words here. Consumers spend what they get. Okay. It asks you to show that consumers spend what they get, which again is by assumption, uh, and that's in the first equation. These are the consumers and we're assuming that the total revenue in the consumption goods sector uh, is just from there. Now, obviously, that's not really true. They're also going to get sales to capitalists, but we're discounting that here. And again, if you're going to make it more realistic, you can start putting in various parameters to do so. But this is sort of the, the, the opening uh, explanation, uh, the simplest one. The one where basically capitalists save all their income and workers spend all their income, which we know is not true. All right. So you've got that. The rest of the equation, or the rest of the, of the, of the question, rather, is all about figuring out, yeah, but what do, the, uh, what do the investors get? So the next equation, you're like, okay, what are the profits in the consumption goods sector? Well, they're total revenue minus total costs. But oh, lo and behold, it turns out that based on the previous equation, that's also equal to... W-I-N-I. -I. 
And again, the logic behind that is, the way it makes sense is, that there's no way that the consumption goods sector can make any profit if it only sells to its own workers. And the dog just knocked over a picture. Uh, there's no way that the uh, consumption goods sector can make a profit by only selling to its own workers. It'll just get its own money back. So it's going to be an injection from somewhere else, and there's where all the profits are right there. Next. Okay, uh, we're done with the consumption goods sector, now let's do investment. And investment is equal to, if you want to do PIQI, you can, uh, or just you can, st either one of these is, is perfectly fine. Um, and my answer, I have them both in this uh, line right here, is equal to WINI plus PI I. Not a very good PI, sorry, let me. Yep, pi i, is that right, John? Yeah. Uh, so, the total income earned by the investment goods sector either goes to workers or capitalists. That's all that says, right? There's no government here, so there's no taxes, uh, so they don't have to pay it to that. There's no foreign sector, so there's no imports, so they're not spending it on filthy, dirty foreign people. Then, since we want to know profits eventually, we're like, well, let's, let's figure it out from this equation here. All right, but. Investment sector profits are equal to total revenue minus total costs. Really, this is just the equivalent of this second line up here. Um, the total profits in the investment goods sector are equal to total revenue minus total costs. Then, all we do is add them together. Pi C plus pi I is just pi, and that's equal to W-I-N-I -I plus investment minus W-I-N-I. -I. Before I proceed, let me remind you why that's true. If we're going to add consumption goods sector profits to investment goods sector profits, then this is consumption goods sector profits right here. We know that from the second equation. That's consumption goods sector profits right there. And then investment goods sector profits. Well, that's total revenue minus total costs. So that's I minus W I N I. Oh my gosh. Pi equals I. Total profit equals total uh, investment spending. And at this point, you make the following note parentheses, investors get what they spend. And that's the end of the answer right there, the end of the answer. Very interesting. And again, it adds to the whole story of why we end up with uh, profits falling at the top of the business cycle. And remember, at the, at the uh, opening of the business cycle is when there's the biggest jump in profits. Well, it's because investment has started to recover now, and it's generating more profits. So when investment goes up, it generates more profits. And uh, when investment goes down, it generates fewer profits, because basically there is a, in the real world, it's not going to be equal because there's other factors, but it's going to be extremely high correlation. And uh, actually, with those data that I showed you from that paper about using Davidson's model to explain the business cycle, it showed that that's exactly what happened in the real world. They moved together. Okay, uh, th that was 42 minutes, so I am going to break this video into another piece, I think, all right? So I'm going to stop it right here, and then actually I'm going to be standing here and start it again, but you won't know that uh, because uh, you are not here with me. Goodbye.